Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I apologize, I just made myself choke on water before starting this episode. So, I'm, uh, <clears throat> my voice is a little, uh, a little bit on the rougher side as it was in the last episode. Again, as a result of, uh, of drinking coffee before, uh, before getting started you know my voice is perfectly fine before I dive into the episode and before I drink coffee but after I drink coffee it uh, it, uh, it ain't as good it doesn't sound as good not that it probably makes any difference to any of you but but it, 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 it's one of those things that I worry about um, you know for some reason, I'm uh, I'm a little more concerned about that maybe than I should be. I mean, as long as I can get the videos recorded, it shouldn't matter, right? It's a, it's a good way to think about it. It would allow me to get more stuff done. Not that I ever choose not to record videos because I don't think my voice sounds great. It's more so because of uh, other reasons. I saw that coming, and I, I I let him hit me, and then I cornered myself in that particular situation. And as a result, we fucked up. And it looks like we're heading down the same path we went in the last episode. Which I'm not looking forward to. Seed for this run was V8KFF6EK. Let's try again. And great, we got Curse of the Lost. To start off with. It's exactly what I wanted. You know. To not know where I'm going. Or not know where I need to go. I mean, if we were to have this particular curse on any floor, I would want it on the first floor, so I guess I can't necessarily complain too much, but no, I find reasons to complain about just about everything, so I will not make any exceptions. This was a really nice item to pick up um you know, at the very start of a run. At the very beginning of a run. Very start of a run. That phrase sounds odd. I don't know. I'm very conscious of how I talk as well. Like what words I use, what kind of vocabulary I have, how I present myself through my words. You know, and not too many YouTubers care about that a whole lot. I don't think because you, you really shouldn't. It's not that big of a deal. Not something you should overly concern yourself with. But it, it this just stems from, you know, um, reading a lot of books and enjoying writing a lot. You know, I enjoy... Uh, writing as a hobby so as a result I inherently worry more about word choice and you know how I how I speak and what words I use and whatever it's just it's just the nature of how I am I can't really control it and frankly I don't I don't see a reason to you know because hey if, if, if that means I try and make myself sound more intelligent and I'm okay with it. I'll never try and fake any intelligence that I may have, but if I can if I can speak in a more intelligent manner, I will choose to do so. That was really close. God. 
Okay, this is good. This is all right. They can't. They can't stop us. Weren't there three of them? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Uh, I don't know if I want to stop in there. I don't see a point necessarily. It, 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 ah, I'm real iffy on it. I only have three coins, you know. It's not like I have a whole lot to work with. Oh, uh, uh, get back, get back. I was real worried they were gonna set themselves off right next to me. Uh, do I want to go in there? I already got the item. Uh, yeah, why not? Not gonna get anything better than what we already have. Shit. I forgot that he has homing shots. God fucking damn it. I easily could have gone through this entire fight without losing any health. But, I'm a moron, so n not gonna happen. Just it it just physically cannot happen. These stupid trinkets. It's a stupid trinket. I don't want that. Whoa. It was with all the explosions. I don't know. I'm just gonna use this. I'm not even gonna bother using that anyway. Might as well just fucking spawn it in so I have room for another card. I mean, I could have just, you know, replaced that particular card with another card I found, but you know, my logic isn't always impeccable, okay? I, I'm i not always perfect, you know? I am perfect a lot of the time. Just not, just not every time. Mm, but wouldn't that make you... Not perfect at all at any point ever. Get out of here with your fucking magic. Infested. Okay. There we go. Stompy's an okay item. Not not the greatest, but I'll take it. I wish I could get PhD, but I don't have nearly enough coins for that. Ow. 
<clears throat> Who is this polycephalus? Cephalus? I don't know. I know it's not spelled like syphilis, like the normal syphilis spelling, but I thought that's what that said. Me goat head. And I don't need the other one, so. Cha ching, boys, we got deal with, deals with the devil, excuse me, for the rest of the run. Regardless of whether or not we take damage, so. I'm feeling pretty, 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 pretty good. What? 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 I don't think I took damage there. I think. That's a load of garbage. Um, yeah, walking through that's gonna hurt me. Even though I want the stuff that is there. And I don't want to waste a bomb just to get that stuff, so. Oh my god, what? I forgot I had boomerang tears freaked me out for a second. I thought somebody was shooting at me. And I'd never seen this kind of shot come my way before. So I was I was a little freaked out, okay? Uh, we don't need anything up there. Did we find the item room yet? Yeah, we already did. I don't know why I can't remember those sort of things, but... Whatever, it doesn't matter. We have a map. I don't need to worry about remembering something like that. <clears throat> Jeez. You know, you're getting a hell of a lot of keys. Seems like there's one spawning in every room. song stuck in my head. It's called, I think, Ready for War, parentheses, open parentheses, Pray for Peace, close parentheses. It's, uh, it's a good song. It's very catchy. Uh, I think it's, I don't know how to pronounce the band's name, but it's Adelis Way, I think. I think maybe that's how you pronounce their name. It's a really good song. It is a hard rock song, but very good. It's very catchy. Like, that chorus has been stuck in my head for the past few days. And I listen to the song at least one or two times every day. <clears throat> there are always certain songs that do that to me at, at, at some point or another. Why did I go back all of this way? I guess I thought I didn't find the uh, the boss room even though it's all the way down here oh well um, but yeah anyway like sometimes there are certain bands or certain songs why why all right it doesn't matter but still it was very unnecessary why does running into poop exp like cause things to explode is that is that fartoom or, or something because if that's the case we're getting rid of it for sure 100 percent but uh 
Yeah, like certain bands, certain songs are like that for me. Like I'll be on a, like recently I was on an Avenged Sevenfold kick. You know, I was listening to some of the, a lot of their stuff every day. Um, what else? Like, um, I've always been a huge fan of Linkin Park, so they don't they don't really count in that regard. Uh, I was on a huge Metallica kick for a little bit, um, Iron Maiden for a little bit. Sometimes it applies to genres as well, um, and you know the temp like certain tempos for songs. Like I like fast, hard songs. You know, one week, next week I want slow pop songs. You know, which I mean I hate modern pop, but there's there are certain pop songs that are that are quite good that I get quite a lot of enjoyment out of listening to. They're few and far between though. But uh you know, like and then I'll I'll go on an eighties rock kick. Like I went on one yesterday. Uh was listening to a bunch of eighties rock like uh like Van Halen and White Snake and Bon Jovi and all these guys. Um you know, like, and I, I feel like this isn't, like, an uncommon thing. I just think it's kind of weird and a little interesting that, like, I go on these random kicks with different music types and they last, you know, relatively long periods of time and, like, in retrospect, like, you, you know, a week at a time, a week or two at a time. You know, I just think that's... Interesting. I have no idea which direction I want to go. I guess we'll try out all the doors in here. Holy shit. Whew. That was really close. It was very, very close. Why did I walk in here? I don't know. I'm an idiot, that's why. Alright. Lohan's doing wonders for us. He's making these guys afraid of us and dealing damage at the same time. The, uh, the trifecta right there. Even though it's only two things and not three, but you get the point. I think. Probably. I don't know. I, uh, I used to play a lot of... What is it? Um, oh, hey, look at that. There are two... Item rooms. Oh, because it's... It's an XL floor. I gotcha. I gotcha. Um, but I used to play a lot of NCAA basketball. Like the, the EA game. Um, I used to play a lot of that. Um, not so much anymore because they stopped making new ones. So why bother? Um, but I used to play a lot of that, and, um, you know, in, in, in sports games, they usually pick, like, two announcers, and they announce every game that you play in, you know, it's, uh, it's unrealistic in that way, because there are a lot of announcers for every sport, but, um, in that game, they picked Kirk Herbstreet and Dick Vitale, and Dick Vitale, like, one of his lines was always something like, there's the trifecta, you know, like, and his voice does not sound like that. He's got a voice that I don't think anyone can mimic. But, um, you know, he would always say something like that. And uh, it's kind of how, like, that phrase got ingrained in my head. And I always feel like I'm alone in, in uh, on those kind of things. You know, I feel like not a lot of people I know play sports games, you know. 
Um, I think they're generally frowned upon in in the in the uh, in the regular gaming community. Of course, I have no fucking clue. You know, I I would not be the person to know, but I think they're generally frowned upon for a variety of reasons. One, you know, people in the gaming community typically are not into regular sports. Uh, I think I think some of the reasoning is that the games aren't very good, which they're not. Um, I, I understand that criticism. Like it, a lot of the, the sports games EA puts out, you know, for FIFA and Madden, they're not good. They they really aren't. Um, you know, 2K has been guilty of not making great games either, great sports games. Um, so I understand that. Uh, that and there's the kind of this stigma in uh, in gaming a little bit against simulation games, which I don't really understand. Um, and I don't I don't know where I'm necessarily pulling this from, so I could totally be wrong about this, but. Um, I, I always thought there was this stigma against, you know, simulation games, like, you know, it, regardless of what they were simulating, like city builders and, and sports games and various uh, other simulation games. I always thought there was this stigma. I'm not entirely sure if that is actually the case. I could totally be wrong about that, and, you know, I just conjured that up in my head out of nowhere, but... I always thought I always thought there was something like that in the in the gaming community. I didn't mean to use that two of hearts. I, I was anticipating that it was going to be one of the other uh, cards that look like that. So, my bad. Kicking ass. Look at us go. Oh, and now we actually have mom. That's interesting. Never had to deal with this before, you know, where you have the XL floor on on mom's floor, you know. It's weird. It's a weird situation. But uh Whatever. Or we're, we're, we're kicking ass. We'll, we're kicking ass and taking names. I have no concerns. No concerns. I'm actually really liking the, the look of this run at the moment. You know, our damage stat is naturally very high. It's around like 8.5. Um, you know, we're, we're just very strong all around. I'm real happy about that take sister Maggie oh 7.98 same difference not really but I thought it was 8.5 probably because I took damage and it looked that way Jeez, there are a lot of you fuckers in here huh There you go. It would help if I didn't have the Curse of Darkness, but, you know, whatever. And Guppy's Head is a real nice pickup here because we didn't have a spacebar item to begin with. And frankly, I don't expect us to get one that'll be all that great, so. This is good. This is good. And of course, all my flies went to attack that one spider that popped out of the, uh... Popped out of that treasure chest. So that's great. What is this? Trickle charge? I don't know. Probably better than the petrified poop. I don't know. I, I have no idea. I don't know what the petrified poop actually does. So I'll take this for now. Use it a little bit. To see if it does anything. Truth be told, it probably won't do much of anything, but 
Oh shit, mom's in here. Oh no. Uh, oh god. I'm gonna go this way. Oh! Right at the spawn point. What kind of nonsense is that? Wrong choice. Oh, fuck. I didn't see the other laser spider. So I kind of just walked into that. Man, I'm taking stupid damage. I need to stop. I don't know. I need some health. If I could get some of that, that would be great. Double active. Nice. Um, don't hurt me going in here. Spawn in even more flies. I can't afford to take any damage. Be a major problem if I do. Yes. Alright, we can take on whatever boss is in here. Loki? We can fucking take on him. He is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Didn't even need to get that close to him. Taking any chances, that's for sure. Uh, I I'm not gonna risk it. Definitely not going to risk it because I would only be left with half of a uh, half of a heart if I took anything that was in there. Uh, that would not be one of my smarter ideas. I am gonna use this thing because I want to try for a heart. And look at that, we got a soul heart on the first fucking spin. I am really happy. Nice. Can we get more soul hearts? I would be I would be very appreciative of that. Like that would that would completely change my opinion on this wheel of fortune thing. Oh, we got We got a pretty fly. That's what it spawned in. Okay. We can only have one, though, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I thought the max for having, like, a, a fly, a pretty fly protecting you was three, but I guess I was wrong about that. I don't know. Come on. Oh, I'm out of coins. Uh, I'm gonna blow this thing up because I'm not gonna bother coming back. God. This run would be over already if we weren't so strongly built like it's gonna be very tough for us uh, for us to be taken down only way I see us going down is just as a result of our low health like you know we just don't have a whole lot of health I haven't really picked up a bad pill either. I don't think. It's been very beneficial to us. I've been very lucky in that regard. Because typically pills do not help you. Typically they are the bane of your existence. 
And again, itching my nose. Sorry, I, I had to scratch. This has got to be the way to the to the boss fight, right? And they stop fucking hurting me. All right, I need all the health I can get in order to take on whoever is here. Or I mean, I know who's here. I meant the boss. I need more health. Give me more health. You know, in hindsight, destroying that Wheel of Fortune machine was not one of my brighter ideas. Because I forgot that I have I have the coin shot, so it, it'll spawn in coins for me. Ah, oh, that was a fucking... That was a dumb move. I wasn't thinking. I apologize. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. I don't know how the lyrics go after that. Give me health. Give me a Joker card. Not that we need it, but I'm not going to use it because I only have two red heart containers. And that would be dumb. That would be a dumb thing to do. I probably should have gone through the bigger room. And then... Um, gone through this room here but too late I already fucked up and it didn't really cost us anything anyway so not overly concerned about it I am overly concerned about this though cause this is a bit of a fucking problem or it was we're back down to one red heart again yeah yeah you just, I, I, I was getting a little overconfident. There's no way you can win with that low. With that little health, you know. You know, you gotta, you gotta have more health going into this final floor. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how strong you are or how strong you get. You, you gotta have more health coming into it. Um, so. <sighs> I continuously make the mistake of taking too many deal with the devil items. Sometimes that risk pays off, like buying into that and going through with it. Sometimes that pays off. Other times it really doesn't. Like if I had, you know, not picked up Sister Maggie, I think I would have had a better shot at sticking around longer and winning the run. But I just, I, I wanted all the help that I could get in, in that specific aspect. And I didn't really consider how much health I had going into the fight. Or going into the floor, so. Oh, well. Was, this was a good run, though, you know? Very. Very. Hang on. It was much better than the runs from the last episode, so I'm, I'm satisfied. In that regard, I still want to win, though, and we're going to fucking win. Soon. It's going to happen. It's unavoidable. Can't stop. This train of goodness what is it newton's first law of motion once something is in motion it stays in motion either that or it's the the third law i have no idea all right i'm not a physics guru but either way we're in motion and you can't stop us uh in 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 contrast to what occurred today but Whatever. With that said, if you guys enjoyed this episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, let me know down in the comment section below. Like the video and share it with your friends. It lets me know you want to see more of any game series I do here on the channel. The link down to the game is in the description box. <coughs> Excuse me. Link is down in the description box below if you want to pick it up for yourself. Subscribe to my channel for more gaming content. I play all sorts of games on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Love you very much. And I'll talk to you later.